Welcome to Cooking Wild. Today we're going to make stuffed quail with roasted sweet potatoes for our side. And for dessert, I'm gonna make homemade peach pie. Stick around because we're cooking wild. go ahead and stuff our quail. Um, it's brined overnight in just salt water and I've just patted it dry. I tied the legs together with butcher's twine and I'm gonna stuff it with just a basic cornbread dressing. We made this on season one so if you want to go over to that episode you'll be able to get the ingredients and the instructions on how to make this stuffing. So I'm just going to kind of open up our bird. Right, it's probably just be easier to do it with my hands. And just push. And then on the wings, I just take them and fold them back and up underneath themselves like that. Just kind of tucks them up under and protects them on the bird where, let me get off this paper towel, where they don't dry out and burn on the edges. So just kind of fold them up underneath there. So just like the other one, we're going to tie the legs of this together. They look like little bitty baby turkeys when they're stuffed like this. I am going to mix up my seasoning and we are going to brush the quail with olive oil and then this simple seasoning salt and pepper and then we're going to put it in the oven and roast it at 400 degrees um, until the internal temps 180 so it should be about 10 minutes or so 
So we have a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of garlic powder, um, a teaspoon of cumin. And I am just going to use the end of this little kebab stick. Mix that up. We are going to brush them all with olive oil and then we will season them in a little salt and pepper. And like I said, we're gonna roast these at 400 um, for about 10 minutes or until the internal temp is 180. So I'll just use a digital uh, meat thermometer to check. Okay, we have those brushed with olive oil and I am going to just season them with our mixture. And then we're gonna do um, coarse ground pepper. And sea salt. Okay, we are going to put these in the oven at 400 and I'll check the internal temperature in about seven or eight minutes to see where we're at, if we need to go ahead and pull them out early and we will be right back. So we have our sweet potatoes peeled and cubed up. I cubed them in about half inch, three quarters of an inch cubes. And this is just gonna, it's super, super simple. We're just going to roast them. So I've got olive oil and I'm just gonna toss them in this olive oil. And then we're going to lay them out on these cookie sheets and um, use sea salt and that's it. I'm just gonna use my hands because it's just gonna be easier to do it that way.
So I put a little bit more olive oil on um, each pan. I'm just going to toss them real good, make sure they're good and coated, and then we're going to salt them. Put them in the oven at 450 to roast. And I will turn them occasionally as they're roasting just to make sure that they cook evenly on all sides. So let's just toss these around. And try to spread them out evenly and as far away from each other. You don't really, really want them laying on top of each other if you can prevent it. Just because they roast. They roast better that way if they're not stacked. This is just coarse sea salt. A lot of people put cinnamon on their sweet potatoes and I like it that way, but I prefer it with just the sea salt because you can get the sweet and the savory and it's just really simple. So we're just gonna... There's that pan is ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this one and salt it. Then we'll get them both in the oven at 450. Okay, so we have both pans tossed in olive oil with uh, coarse sea salt, and I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in the oven to roast at 450. And I'll check them about every five, 10 minutes, toss them and make sure they're cooking evenly on all sides. And we will be right back. So today we're gonna make peach pie for dessert. Um, I've got some local peaches from an orchard here in Oklahoma, it's Porter Peaches. And we're gonna take about four to five fresh cups of sliced peaches. Um, it's gonna be probably about seven or eight good sized peaches. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of lemon juice. That just kind of, the acidic in it, just kind of breaks them down and helps them to go ahead and juice up real well. I'm just gonna give them a slight toss. And then, I'm gonna mix up our um, dry ingredients. So we have a cup of white sugar. We've got a half a cup of all-purpose flour. And the flour is gonna serve as a thickening agent in the, in the pie. And I've got a teaspoon of cinnamon. And a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna whisk all these together real well. 
and then we will um, fold it into our peaches. So this peach pie is going to bake at 450 for the first 10 minutes and then I'm going to kick the heat down to 350 and we're going to finish it off about 30 to 40 minutes at 350. So I've got my dry ingredients um, together and I am going to go ahead and just put them in on top of our peaches that have the lemon juice. Um, this is about five cups of fresh peaches right here. Do about half, stir them, and then I'll do the other half. want to be careful and get them coated well but try not to mash your peaches just kind of toss them in there so they don't um, get smashed okay I am going to make an egg wash is uh, it's just egg and water and you brush it onto your crust and it gives it that shiny um, gloss it's about two tablespoons of water Whisk that together really good. Then I'm just going to brush my pie shell. This is just a pre-made pie shell. Um, you can make um, the homemade crust. You can buy them already um, frozen or in the refrigerated section. Uh, just whatever you prefer. Then I'm going to put my um, peaches into our pie. And like I said, that um, flour in that mixture is gonna serve as a thickening agent. And then last but not least, I've got a second pie crust right here. I set this right here so I can get that ready. I've got a second pie crust that I am going to um, roll out to put on top of our pie. So I've got my pie crust um, rolled out to about the size I think we're going to need and I'm just loosening the edges up just to make sure it's not going to stick. And I am going to just do a really simple lattice. So I'm just using a pizza cutter to cut my strips. 
And I'm gonna do um, uneven strips just to give it a little bit of character where I don't have to just perfectly space my strips. So I'm gonna intentionally do some thinner strips and some thicker strips. overhang on all of it we are going to start doing a little bit of a weave so I'm gonna lift up every other piece I'm gonna start kind of in the middle with one of my longer pieces So there we kind of have our lattice. It's not perfect by any means, but you see where I was going with the overhang on it? That is going to be able so we can have enough of it to build a crust up and around. And then I'm gonna just take and cut off just a little bit of this excess, like where I still have a little bit of overhang. And then we're just going to kind of just pinch it up and along the crust and you just kind of roll it up on itself. Then I'll come along and kind of form the edge a little bit better. I'm just trying to get it up on the We have our um, oven heating at 450. We're gonna put it in the oven for about 10 minutes on 450. Then we're gonna lower our temperature down to 350 and finish it at 350 for about 30 to 45 minutes, just depending. Um, one thing, when you are making pie, seems like the edges always brown first so after the the first 10 minutes I'm gonna check the edges of our crust and if it's starting to get brown I'm just gonna loosely put some foil around the edge of the pie just to protect the crust there so that it doesn't continue to get darker than the rest of the crust. Try to get it as uniform as possible. So the next little step I'm gonna do on the edge of this is just use a fork, the tines of a fork, press it in to the edge of my crust to give it just a little bit of decoration. I'm just adding some of this leftover where it's thin. So like I said, it's not like beautiful, but it'll be good. So 
the makeup for. So I've got my fork and I'm just going to go along the edge of my pie crust and with the fork tines and just kind of press into it. Just kind of gives it that crimped edge. Okay, so I just kind of crimp the edges with my fork. And the next thing we're gonna do is just do a little bit of egg wash over the entire pie, and then I will just lightly sprinkle some sugar, and then it's gonna go in the oven. So I'm gonna just egg wash the, the edges first. And what this does is it gives the crust that shiny, glossy look to it. I don't know if you've ever noticed when you buy pie or it looks like it's got like a glaze or a shine to it. That's what this does. It also helps the, um, the sugar to stick that we're going to sprinkle over it. egg wash on all of it and I'm just going to get a little bit of um, sugar and sprinkle over the top. We're going to put it on a cookie sheet, uh, just a lined cookie sheet or any pan just in case it cooks over um, or like starts cooking over. It doesn't drop down and burn on the bottom of your oven. Put one in the oven and we'll be right back. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me today. For more meals and other original shows, head over to bravadowireless.com. I'm Amber and we've been cooking wild.